Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Tracy, and I'll be your guide for today's practice. We're going to be doing movement stretches today, so please remember if any of this doesn't work for you, just make adjustments and do something that does feel good for your body. We're going to be starting a tabletop today. So that means hands directly under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Try and make that nice flat tabletop with your back. Try and press all 10 knuckles down into the mat. And we'll just take a couple of nice easy breaths before we start, trying to arrive here in mind as well as body. So nice deep inhale, Find your hands, ground them down, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Now on the exhale, we're gonna send our seat back to our heels for an extended child's pose. So we're gonna keep the arms long Keep the fingertips creeping away from you and press the armpits down into the mat. Breathe. On your next inhale, we're gonna come back up through tabletop and then come all the way down over top of those hands and press up. Look up towards the ceiling, lift up nice and tall. Press back into extended child's pose again. Try and get your seat as close to the heels as possible. You can keep those knees apart. You can bring the toes to touch if that's better for you. Inhale, coming forward, back through tabletop. We're going to press down again and all the way up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Now on your next inhale, come back into tabletop hands. Make your adjustments that you need to. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And we're gonna go into a traditional cat-cow. So we're gonna inhale, tilt the tail up, bring the gaze up to the sky. Stretch, really arching through the back, pushing up through those hands. And then exhale, turn everything under. Press through mid-back, up to the ceiling. Inhale, turn everything up to the sky. Exhale, your hand comes, head comes in between your arms and pull your navel towards your spine. Inhale and come back to neutral again. Let's bring those toes to touch. We're gonna to send our seat back, come back into that extended child's pose. Breathe, stretch those fingertips away, press the armpits down into the mat. Now inhale, coming forward, all the way down over top of those hands and press up. Looking up to the ceiling, Pressing through the shoulders, through the arms, grounding the hands, and coming back into extended child's pose. One more time here. Inhale, come forward and down and press up. This time we're gonna move back into tabletop, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna bring our left hand to the center of the mat and we're gonna take that right arm, draw it up like a bow all the way up to the ceiling, trying to keep your body from twisting too much. We're gonna look up and now we're gonna bring that hand down through the hole we created, stretch, and then inhale, that hand comes up Exhale to come down, inhale up, and exhale down, bringing your shoulder down to the mat this time. Bring your head down to the mat. You can use your left hand for a gentle twist up towards the ceiling. 
really leaning into that shoulder. Take a breath. Inhale, bringing that right hand back underneath your right shoulder. And we're gonna go in to that cat cow again. So inhale, tilt the tail up, bring the gaze up to the sky, press up through your shoulders. Exhale, your head comes in between your arms, tuck the tail, press up. Come back to neutral spine. We're gonna bring the right hand now, right in front of the face. Inhale, left arm comes up, stretch. Exhale, bring that hand down through the hole we created. And then inhale to come up. Exhale down. Inhale to come up. And now exhale down, bringing the shoulder down to the mat, bring the head down to the mat. You can use your right hand this time to press open towards the ceiling. Really leaning back into that shoulder. Breathe. You want to feel that nice stretch in the shoulder. And now inhale, bringing that left hand back underneath you. We're going to make some adjustments now. So really grounding down into those fingers. We're going to curl the toes under and we're going to send our seat up and back for a downward facing dog. So you adjust this the way that you need to. We're going to press our heels alternately down to the floor. Also known as pedaling your feet. Really stretch through the toes as you press your heel down. You can do this as quickly or as slowly as you like. If you like that stretch up on your toes, you can take advantage. And then let's inhale both heels up. Exhale, press them down as close as you can get them to the mat and tilt the tail up to the sky. Head comes between the arms. We're gonna look up between our hands and then just walk our feet up to our hands. I think that's the first time I've said that right. I always get that part wrong. Let's keep a micro bend in the knee, but we'll let our head hang you can bend those knees as much as you need to actually to get your hands down to the mat. And breathe. Maybe we're going to straighten the legs a little bit, drawing your body closer to the shins. And now we can grab opposite elbow with opposite hand, maybe sway just a little. Breathe. And now we're going to drop the hand. You can nod your head yes. And shake your head no. Come to stillness. Plant your hands on the floor if you can or your fingertips and we're going to straighten the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Now we're really going to bend those knees and we're going to slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. All the way up, nice and tall. Exhale, press the shoulders down. So we'll come to mountain pose. All that means is we're gonna have our hands, sorry, our hands are shining forward. Our feet are right under our hips. Just a little better, maybe than hip width apart. Micro bend at the knee, a little tilt of the pelvis. Shoulders are pressed back and down. We tuck the chin, hands shining forward and crown shining up to the ceiling. Let's take a big breath in, inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, press the shoulders down. This time we're gonna draw the shoulders up. So inhale. Exhale, press the shoulders down. Inhale. And press. One more time. really pressing those shoulders now and giving everything a shake out if you brought some tension into the body. We're going to bring our toes up now, spread them apart and then claw them down into the mat. Find the space behind your big toe, behind your baby toe and at your heel and really ground down into your mat. 
We're gonna bring the hands in front. You can spread your fingers apart. You need to bend the knees, inhale. Arms are gonna come up overhead to cactus. And we're gonna really draw the shoulder blades together. Now spread those fingertips apart and draw the shoulders down the back. Exhale as you bring those hands down. We're bringing tension into the body now. Inhale to cactus. Exhale, bring the shoulders down. Let those hands draw down. One more time. Inhale. And exhale down. Again, let's shake out any tension we just brought. We're gonna move our toes a little closer together now. You can bring them to touch if you like, but we're gonna go into a moving chair pose. So if you feel like you're a little bit more stable, if your feet are apart, you can go maybe about fist widths apart. And we're gonna send the seat back and the arms up. So we're gonna inhale, bring the arms up, send the seat back, really exaggerate it going back like someone has stolen your chair. Exhale to come up. Inhale, seat goes back, exhale to come up. Again, exhale. We're gonna do it one more time, but we're gonna pause in the chair. Seat is back, finding your balance, trying to get those arms up around your ears, nice and straight. One more breath. Dropping those arms, coming all the way up. Let's have a shake out again. And we're gonna bring the toes out now, heels in, kind of a horse pose. We're gonna make a very similar movement, but we're gonna bring our arms back up to cactus. So arms are here, we're gonna send the seat back. So we're gonna inhale, send the seat back, arms come up. Exhale, bring them back to your sides again. Inhale. We're gonna do it one more time, but we're gonna pause. All the way down, arms are up, seat is back. Really engaging those inner thighs. And come all the way up. And give everything a shake out again. We're gonna bring those feet a little wider apart now. We're going to send our seat back, come down again, but we're gonna bring the arms right in between the knees and pause there. So we inhale, arms are coming up, seat comes back. We're gonna bring those hands right together. Elbows are on the inside of the knees. Now, if your heels are up like this, that's okay. We can work at getting them down to the floor. If you're kind of hunched over, try to straighten up. We won't be here long. One more breath. Let's bring those hands behind us and guide the seat down to the floor. We're gonna bring those legs out nice and long now. Again, we're gonna tuck the tail under just a little bit. Bring the hands up to shoulder height. Start to roll back, coming down one vertebra at a time, all the way down. Until your head comes down last. We're gonna bend the knees, so you can plant your hands on either side of you, or you can bring them out to cactus or out to a T if you like. I'm gonna keep mine down here. We're gonna bring our knees right up, and our feet off the floor, keeping the legs bent, and we're gonna do some toe taps. So we're engaging the core, pulling the navel down, and we're gonna drop the right toes, and then bring them up, drop the left toes, and up. Now you're just going to continue at your own pace. Remember, pressing the small of the back down into the mat, pulling the navel down, and continue. We're going to try and make it so that we even it up. We do the same amount of taps on both sides. So I'm going to go one more each side. Once on the right, where we started and once on the left. Let's bring those feet both down. We're gonna bring the arms up to cactus now. Feel for the edge of your mat with your feet. 
and just windshield wiper the legs back and forth. Continuing to breathe. Nice and slow, just making everything loose again because we are going to do that one more time. One more time each side and come back to center. So we'll bring the feet in just a little bit. So we're about hip width apart again. I'm gonna bring my hands back down to the sides, bring the legs up. So feet are up, knees are bent. And you can continue with the toe taps if you want, or you can join me. I'm going to extend my leg and bring it up. Remembering to pull the navel down and press the small of your back into the mat. Extending the left and up. Now we're gonna continue side to side. Again, you're gonna go at your own pace. If you wanna continue with the taps, that's good too. there. We're going to go one more each side. Try to make sure that you even it up. And we're going to drop both feet again. We're going to extend the right leg. Keep the left leg bent. We'll bring our arms back out to cactus again. And we're going to shift the hips over about two inches to the left and just let that left knee fall over to the right hand side for a spinal twist. And breathe. One more. Let's inhale back to center. Your arms can come back to cactus and center yourself on the mat. Draw your right foot to the mat now. Right knee is bent, left leg is straight. We're gonna shift the hips about two inches over to the right. Drop the right knee over to the left. With each exhale, see if we can draw the knee just a little closer to the floor. Inevitably, one side is always more flexible than the other. This is definitely my more flexible side. Inhale and then exhale to draw that knee down to the floor. Let's do one more nice big breath. And then roll it back to center. We're going to bend the knees. Both feet are coming to the mat. Again, about hip width apart. You can bring your hands down to either side of you, press them into the mat. We're gonna send the hips up for bridge. So we're gonna inhale, send the hips up. We're gonna hold right there, hold. Now on your next exhale, you're gonna roll all the way down from the top of your spine, all the way to the bottom and release your back. So you should have a space in between your back and the mat, just bringing it to neutral spine. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, press up. Exhale, slowly roll down. Inhale, press up. Exhale to come down. We're going to do it one more time, but we're going to hold right there and bridge. So inhale, come up, really sending those hips up, coming up on top of the shoulders. You can stay right here if you like, or you can test your balance a little, find your footing, make sure your feet are planted well into the earth, and then try lifting your right leg, press down and left. Press down, one more time each side, or you can just stay in bridge, completely up to you. Now we're in bridge, press up, and then slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Excellent. Let's draw both knees into the chest now. We're gonna do another counter stretch. 
So drawing those knees in nice and close, you can grab in behind your thighs if you want, or clasp onto your shins to draw them down. Bring them together if you like, and we're gonna rock from side to side. Back and forth, have some fun with it. You can even move into happy baby if you want, so send the feet up to the ceiling, clasp onto the bottoms, draw the knees down into the armpits, and again, you can continue to roll back and forth. Whichever one was working for you, if you like your knees into your chest, that's okay too. And we're gonna make our way up to seated. So if you're hugging your knees in, we're just gonna rock and roll back and forth. We'll do about four or five rocks before we come all the way up. Plant your feet, sit up nice and tall. We're gonna bring our fingertips to point towards the body. So we're gonna lift the chest. This one might be a bit of a challenge. You might wanna skip it, that's okay too. So lift the chest. Bend the elbows, we're gonna do something called high boat, low boat. So we're gonna bend the knees, bring the feet up. So we're already having a challenge here. If you wanna stop right there, that's completely up to you. You could try lifting the hands if you want. We're gonna slowly lower down. We're gonna do this three times. And then bring everything back up. That's one. All the way down. And up. We got one more, all the way down and up. Plant the hands, fingertips are facing towards you. Bring the feet down. And we're gonna come to just our seated position, cross-legged, get nice and comfortable, ground down through the seat, sit up nice and tall, bring the hands in front. We're gonna inhale, bring them up and overhead. Exhale, left hand comes down. We're gonna stretch over to that left side. Inhale, and then exhale to fall, really stretching towards the wall. And then open up towards the ceiling. Breathe. On your next inhale, bring that arm all the way up and exhale down. Hands are gonna come in front again, all the way up with the inhale. Exhale, let that right arm drop. Reach over to that right side. Inhale, exhale, really stretch towards the wall. And now open up towards the ceiling. Inhale, bring that arm all the way up and then exhale down. We're just gonna end with three breaths. So bring your palms up to either side of you. We're gonna inhale, arms come up and overhead. Nice and slow, spread the fingertips apart, turn the arms away from each other. Exhale down, grow taller. Turn the palms up, inhale. Stretch up towards the ceiling, come up and out of your seat. Exhale down. Last time, inhale. Stretch, this time we're gonna bring those palms together, draw them down through heart center. Take a nice big breath, lift the chest. You can bring your hands down to your knees if you like. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know that was a lot of movement. Congratulations for making it through it, but it's so good for your body. I hope to see you again soon.